Chip! Uh. Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found them. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. <laughs> it's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. I would, but what's over here first? Hello? Nope, okay. got a scurvy dog that was big those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you you kids better have money uh, yeah we've got all kinds of money all kinds I'm mug of grog we are children sir can we get a couple of scurvy dogs sure if you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? <laughs> Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess, never mind. Never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. There are so many flies in here. How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. Nice. All right. The outhouse. I'm, I'm thinking this is the out. Yep. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. But if someone has to really go and they don't have time to. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah. Let's get scurvy dogs instead. Um. What? Okay. <laughs> Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. How are we going to get into the outhouse? Usually the shops have keys. Do, 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 do you have a key? They oh. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. I once had the hiccup. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> it's 
locked. I have the... I've got the key in my pocket. Good, you unlocked it. Mmm, smell it, sure. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as a toilet. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Gross. It isn't a piece of ape, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of ape. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Think about the slug. Peel the slug off the floor. Fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Is it though? Did you know you can keep a scurvy dot warm by sticking it in your armpit? I did not, not know sure this. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of ape. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Yeah, you're right. He. He he wears glasses. Sorry, this place is disgusting. <laughs> Scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Well, let's give him the big coin. What can we get with this? That was on the floor of the Tastes bathroom. Like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect. Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Uh huh. Mmm, delicious. For what do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I do say we were. They call us scurvy. I I'm not trying to interrupt you. I'm sorry. Hey Dean. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, shitheads. And my to-do list. Buy scurvy dogs, find a coin, outhouse must surround and explore, check out the anchor, beat Chucky in a race, feed the duck. Well... Hit T. Oh, nice. Well, let's. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly, and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down, for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies, but the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. 
Well, that was a thing. I can stand on my head without using my hands. <laughs> <laughs> we go from anchor facts to that pool. Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go. There we go. <laughs> Well, hey, hands off. That's our bread. Stop it. Hey, hands off. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. No regard for personal pro. Gotta run. How rude. I wonder where this path goes. Give it some of your bread. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Uh-huh. I feel like that would make you feel a little sick. Now, what is my to-do list now? Add some sauce to my scurvy dog, practice sword fighting, find a four-leaf clover, make a wish at the wishing well, and find our real parents. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not going to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. You should put that on your scurvy dog. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. I... Uh-huh. This one, this boy's just having a good old time over here. What the freak? Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Uh, find a four-leaf clover and make a wish at the wishing well. Then we have to go find mom and dad. your feet won't smell if you don't wash them i did not know that good to know do not pick the four leaf clovers <laughs> as if let's look for a four leaf clover okay good luck with that Left? Darn. At home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Why would you keep those? Here, we might not be able to come back if we head this way. I mean, I'll make a wish at the wishing well. All right, hold on. Wishing well. I should find a coin to throw in. I spent the coin that I had. Not what I meant to do, but okay. Your sword is as sharp as a banana. I'll still tear you down to size. I for sure won that one. In your dreams. You fight like kids. We we are children. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Hold on, see if there's a coin over here. I should find a coin to throw in. Oh, there's a coin right here. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien score butt.
Oh. I wish we could speak backwards. For what it is, you know. <laughs> that was fun. Ah, oh, man, it wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I wish Chucky had a mustache. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it's really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. one. Ah, feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling, or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Streepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? 
Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. I... I mean, he is an evil ghost pirate, but... He kidnapped my wife. kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. <laughs> that guy steals all my best that ideas. Guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. Uh, he's an evil he's an zombie. Evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? Uh, we've been enemies for my whole career. We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. <laughs> I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm going to hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the scum bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Do we? Do we, though? God, the art design in this was so much different than I was prepared for. Oh, let's see what else is around first. Oops, I almost forgot to duck into the scum bar to ask the pirate leaders to back my expedition. <laughs> Hi. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? Uh... I'm the rock-solid investment you've been waiting for. Spare me the greasy sales pitch. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, you're with his Captain Madison? She's like famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? <laughs> Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. Uh, it's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. I mean... Yeah. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. 
<laughs> Listen, I didn't come here to be bullied. <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Uh... I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. I mean, yeah, if you don't want to take this opportunity, if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Ha! Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. <laughs> Amazing how much has changed. Real voodoo. Guybrush. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine. Guybrush. Uh, how's your scurvy prevention project? How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great. We're going to get a lot of lines to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you? No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. Uh, you've probably got to get going. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. Uh, no, you say bye no, first. you say bye first. No, 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 no. No, you say bye first. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, hi. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I never once made it all the way to the end. Oh, uh, let's take Elaine it. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. But I, I want it. What's this? Uh, every time. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Looks like Wally's got a new place in Melee. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. Yeah, we stole his monocle. What is this? Is that the time? Oh, yeah. That clock has been broken for decades now. Alright. Aww. This is where I risked my neck for Elaine. And she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Hello. Hi there, newcomer. Hi there. 
at the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Are these for customers? Not technically, but please, help yourself. That charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot. Thanks. I'll just take a few. All of them. I'm Guybrush Threefoot. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. Oh. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. All at once? How does that work? All at once? Well, how does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. Would you like to join a pirate crew? How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a failsafe in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a, key, a new key? Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks. Just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. What's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? What's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. <laughs> Can I borrow one? Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. I think I'll, I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Um. What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. What's this key? That one is only for going in, never for coming out. Please, don't touch the glass. What's this key? That one's for making a quick exit from somewhere you're trapped. What's this key? That opens a long straight wardrobe for keeping long straight dresses. What's this key? That activates a mechanical kettle. Please, don't touch the glass. What's this key? That unlocks your house. What's this key? That one's for making a quick exit from somewhere you're trapped. What's that key? That one is only for going in, never for coming out. Please, don't touch the glass. Okay. Uh. What's this lock? That's for hats. What's this lock? It's meant for bachelors to secure their apartments. And please, don't touch the glass. What's this lock? A special one that can open with any of four different keys. And please, don't touch the glass. Ah, uh, one more. What's that lock? Famous lawyer used that to keep people from stealing his front doormat. Nice. All right. Jail. Let's go to jail. A visitor. <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threefoot. Yes. <laughs> Otis. Howdy, kid. And Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Uh, big news. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. 
Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time, and I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. Uh, what'd they get you I for this time? You'll be here when I get back. Don't tease me, Guybrush. Oh, never mind. Hi. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Uh, I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. <laughs> I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Uh... Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike. If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Fair enough. Uh... Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart. You'd go to a competitor? <laughs> Where's your loyalty, son? Well, right. Seeing as you're in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought... It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Very true. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Sure. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. See you later. Yep. Uh, let's go see if we can get a key. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp. Without the clean... This is the governor's mansion. Hello? Carla. Guy brush Threepwood. <laughs> Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Ah, uh, anything but your anything cooking. But your cooking. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, but it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. How's the governorship treating you? It's not as straightforward as I'd hoped. For some reason, you can't just tell everyone what to do and assume they'll do it. That's new territory for me. Not for me. Maybe I should be governor. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. 
I assume you're involved with that somehow? Uh... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not automatically involved with everything Elaine does just because we're married. I can see that. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? Uh... I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? Ha! <laughs> I'd rather swallow a live badger than crew with you again. No offense intended. So unlikely, but still possible? No. If you want a crew, go down to the docks and hire one. <laughs> Is there a government program? Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, gosh. You're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey Island or don't be alone? Uh, Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Ah, uh, the mansion hasn't changed much. Uh, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. <laughs> I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. I was just curious. All right, let's take a look around. What is this? It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog. Please take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. I'll take it. Nice. Oh, not what I meant to do, but okay. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Ah, uh, reflect on. Oh, poke the bottle. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. Uh... What is that painting? Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Ah. <laughs> uh... Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I was just curious. I didn't know that was your bedroom. Um, that's it. Well, that was nice. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Things are not what they seem. Okay. I know. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. <laughs> the note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. All right. I guess I do have to interact Hello, with Mr. her. Brush. Hi. Hello again. 
Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the Undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. She's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Okay. Let's try to get a crew. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. I mean, for a job, step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Um. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? Uh, I make a great sick. Second mate. I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. Um. I could be a boatswain. I'd make a great boatswain. Exactly boatswain. what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> Don't waste my time, okay? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I know about, uh... Boat go. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? <laughs> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Uh, all right. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. You've got a mop. The job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Oh. Uh... Andrew LeChuck. No relation. Andrew LeChuck. No relation. What a coincidence. Chuck gave me a blacklist, and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. It was worth I'm a try. Confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. I mean, a mop would have been nice to have. Grog? I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Supplies? Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Hey. Threepwood. I shouldn't even be talking to you. I'm not Guybrush Threepwood. I just look like him. I'm not Guybrush Threepwood. I just look like him. You'd be amazed how often people confuse us. Sometimes I impersonate him at parties, just for fun. We've never even met, and I doubt I'd like him if we did. Even if any of that were true, it wouldn't matter. 
that Chuck would take one look at you and go nuts. Just looking like Guybrush Threepwood is enough that I can't give you the job. Sorry. Alright. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. What? I'm sorry, what? Did they go did they go in here? I don't think they did. Well, let's make sure. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. Alright, maybe not. Well, oh hold on. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> place does seem different from what I remember. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Uh, tell me about Loom. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. <laughs> then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. No. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No. Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. Nice talking nice to you. Talking to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, then maybe they're in here. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. Uh, you mean ever since we last saw each other? You mean, fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent, which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Mm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What it is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge.
Your sign says you're going out of business. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, Becca, dark magic, you said? I did. Uh, before we ask about that, I don't suppose you sell mops. I don't suppose you sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at the scum bar. Uh, how does dark magic work? How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Now, uh, can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. <laughs> Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threefoot. So no, I can't be a wizard. Uh, can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right can now? Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. <laughs> uh, is this the time? Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Thanks. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. <laughs> that is true of many things. Uh... Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? The Chuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Uh, will I succeed? Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the definition of success. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Okay. Nice basket. Too bad it's empty. An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There is always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now, but I believe I could restore its abilities. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Forgiveness frog. When in doubt, get a mop, 
so problem. Court master recognizes me and won't let, won't hire me. Well, I get the feeling that the eye patch will help with that. Um, Like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumblebee peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with threads, spreads, bed spreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Uh huh. So is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange? Aren't you glad you're here? Yes. The curtains are for sale, too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. The curtains are for sale, too? Not for me. Not very practical. It's a creepy, shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. my merchandise is top shelf. Can't you at least wait until I say what I'm thinking? It's creepy. Uh... Keep up the good work, buddy. Someone's very excited I'm looking at this sign. <laughs> I think I got... Green, half off. Blue, green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? I think I clicked everything. All right. Well, that's interesting. How about you? Hey, Wally. Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guy Brush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and I'm running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. I... Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret monkey you island. You happen to have a map to the secret monkey island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. You have a lot of maps in here. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. 
Uh, looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. I... I'm looking for a map. And I'm looking for a mop. This mop. is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Sure. Um, it's great to see you land on your feet after all these years. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh... That's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. All right. Well, we know where to. I know we know that there's one at the museum. We probably need the eye patch. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of melee. Oh my god. Dude loves his wife. All right, where's the cook? Three foot as I live and breathe. How have you been? I same old, same old. Yeah, same old, same old. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service, fighting scurvy. Still in now. public service, fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Of course. Um. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree, a tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? Uh, what kind of wood is the tree? What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Uh... How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. All right. Okay. 
guess I'll do it. But what's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mob Quest. <laughs> when do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. All right. So... I mean, that's how they're going to be for the bottom. Go ahead. Dip. Well, it's definitely a mop. Huh. Stay away from my mop. <laughs> okay. Um. You need to find a tree? Meanwhile, on the Chuck ship. Lechuk, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> uh, funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Alright. Uh, we have to find a tree. Is there a tree around here? I have no idea. Oh, that's a shipyard. Well, I thought maybe. Well, it's probably not the worst thing. Is there wood here? Let's find out real quick. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. What? Launch it. Why is it violent in here? Oh, collectible. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone. Nice. We didn't know that up until recently. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not. It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this. But he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. Fancy. 
I, uh... Well, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse. Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. Uh, if I brought you a recipe, could you make it? If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Look behind you. A three-headed monkey. I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads. But I can't think about that right now. Ah. Uh... I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. All right. Let's go to the governor's mansion. I expect that this would have would have happened, but okay. A dish you served at a recent function, it's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? Barbie Le Flay catered that event. I own her cookbook, but I don't know any of the recipes. Do you know where I can find Barbie Le Flay? Middle of the Atlantic Ocean? She's halfway back to France by now. Remind me what you said about the recipe I asked for. I said I didn't make the food, yeah. but I've got yeah. the cookbook. Yeah. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. Well, if you have the cookbook. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never yeah. even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need yeah. your money. Uh, can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book yeah. you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Do you need the book back? I have a house around here or something. Reelect Governor Carla. Hi again. Oh, those new pirate leaders are real jerks. They laughed at me, and they won't fund my expedition. Why didn't you warn me? Would you have listened? Of course. Okay, no, probably not. Wow, it's worse than I imagined. 
the assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. <laughs> have a nice day. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. It's a dried up old sea sponge. It's bone dry. I guess Stan hasn't washed a ship in a while. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. Well. Too deep in the forest. I'm sure to get lost. Go that way. Let's let's see if we can find this stick out here first. Oh. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Oh, the museum. Let's get the. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island, at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Uh... The display case is locked. Well, looks like I'm going to need a... What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. It, okay. It's locked. Looks like I need keys. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. Uh. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. Uh, what do I actually have in my thing? I have a lot of stuff. The crackers will probably help. String, sponge, animal. I probably don't need any of this yet. I definitely need a key, though. But can I get a key? Uh... I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Just... 
Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. Hey, Wally. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. All right. Maybe if it can be the same wood from a the cook's map. Well, it's definitely a mop. Box of monocles. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. So I can take another one. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Makes things look bigger. All right. I really do wonder. I just remember that we had the apology of frog a little bit ago. I wonder if she'll accept the apology of frog. Frog? It's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. That is complete nonsense. And yet, I am going to forgive you for losing my book. I can't even explain why. I just have this sudden, inexplicable urge to forgive. You better not be up to something. Just uh, don't lose the frog, okay? No, I'll keep it with me always. Now we can probably borrow can a book. I borrow this cookbook. You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Oh, definitely. I totally won't forget to if that's an option. Let's see. Oh, we can probably go give this to the chef. at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. <laughs> I better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Every cookbook in the This will be excellent. He'll never Do I have it now? I do. <gasps> Can I mop?
Let's see if that's enough. I could just take his mop, or I could try to be a nice person. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Oh, wrong way. And here, you, sir, just needed a piece of wood. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Ten minutes later. Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. I didn't think that hey, was going to... what's in these boxes? Ooh. Maps. I mean, yeah. And now we have two monocles, one for each eyeball. Let's see... go to the museum if we can get the serial number there's some very tiny writing on it eye patch worn by captain john laney the pirate of a thousand faces. Uh, combine them? Oh. If one monocle is good, two is better. And then maybe. This was a good idea. They magnify stuff even better since I stuck them together. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. And now we can get the code. Nice. Didn't mean to click that. Now <laughs> oh, we have a map. Right? From here, it's, uh, it's left, then right, then right, then right, then up, then left, then up, then left, then... Clicked in the wrong thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back. So, up. Right. Then left, then up, then right. I guess I lost my way. Did I? No, let's try left. I guess I lost my way. Did I? <laughs> then right, then right, then up. Then left. Oh no, then up, then left, then up. Then left. I forgot where I am. I think it's left. I think. Can I? Thank you. Let's try up. Oh, hey. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Can I? No. 
Yeah, with a knife hours later, if that sounds accurate. Oh, jeez. What have we done? Oh my god. <coughs> Holy crap. We just destroyed that tree. I'll take a shortcut back. Many hours later. Oh, wow, we are just the worst. Alright. Uh, let's go back to High Street. Guess we should tell the guy that we got... That tree was rare, endangered, and we just hacked it to pieces. Ingredients, indeed. Um, what's it, my right? Myself. I did. Look at the mop handle I carved. I only needed one tree to make it. You found the tree. Oh, good thing you only took one branch. It's the last mop tree on the island. Very, very rare. Brilliant innovation. Coming along nicely. Um. Do you want a sponge or do you want string? Stuffed animal? <gasps> I could use a stuffed animal. I made him up. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. Look at my mop. Look at my new mop. I made it myself. That's a fantastic mop. Absorbent, expertly carved handle. It should last you a lifetime of fine mopping. Seems <laughs> like a lot, but okay. Yeah, it has a stuffed animal on it. All right. Let's go to the museum. I honestly thought I would need to talk to him about my mop. Now we need an eye patch. Hold up. Once upon a time, I want a t shirt right here on the front lawn. Alright, let's go in. I didn't know what that was going to do. Alright. I forgot that. Never mind. We're not supposed to be here yet. I need to go have a key made. That's right. Uh, pastry. I don't know why I forgot to get the key made, but I did. Hi there. Hiya. Oh. Uh... This is the one for the museum display case. Can you make me a key from this serial number? <laughs> sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Well, I got it. And now we run. Oh, uh, museum. There we go. I patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. And now we can use the key. Or not. <laughs> I see you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This oh, gives I... a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. That's right. I'll I need to probably it. distract the, the parrot because it's a guard parrot. Uh, no.
There we go. <laughs> what do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. But it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Uh, let's go back to High Street. We have to get the eye patch enchanted. I think. Can you fix this? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. One moment. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney. This hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Oh, you don't have to put it like that. It? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Probably no different. Oh, I look undead. <laughs> nice. What the heck? I look like a zombie. Is it broken? John Laney was especially known for impersonating monsters of various types. You failed to mention that earlier. It's not a strong part of the sales pitch. I'll just wear it when I really need to. <laughs> Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. There we are. How much for the safe? It is not for sale at any price. As I said, it has been placed... Okay. Sorry, not to interrupt. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to the mansion to see if everybody's still there. Let's go hang out. There's a party going on, and I want to be in it. If there even is anyone here. Let's find out. Nope. They found out I was coming and left. All right, let's put the not like that. No, hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Someone's yelling yep. at a dog. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B Y O M. So, show me a decent mop, and the job's yours. Okay. Uh. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick. Shoddy stuffed animal. <laughs> eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board, and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Benefits, yeah. The Reapwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? 
You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. But there are two. <laughs> 